You may be missing out on using your iPhone to its full potential. Today I've got 10 hidden gestures and tricks that are incredibly powerful, and I'm guessing that most people have never heard of them. They're not new, but they may be new to you. Let's dive in. I recently received a photo from a friend and I noticed at the bottom that it had the current temperature where they were located. However, it was in Celsius and in the US we use Fahrenheit. Instead of asking Siri or Google, I did this to convert it. Long press on the number. Your iPhone instantly shows the conversion. No calculator, no lookups, just easy and simple. The same applies to units of measure, for example, in this photo. There are countless other things you can discover by clicking on text within a photo, such as phone call options, even if some of the numbers are represented with letters like this one, or clicking on website addresses. There's so many things we could cover, but here's one more useful one. Currency conversion. Check this out. Just click on it. That's pretty cool, right? This next tip eliminates the need for the back button. Let's look in settings, but you can do this in most any app. Once you are multiple levels deep into an app, just swipe right from the leftmost edge. This takes you back instantly. Unfortunately, Apple hasn't given us a way to go forward from where we just were. Ever been on a slow Wi-Fi in a hotel, updating apps before your flight? All your apps just sit there waiting. Choose which app you need to download the most and long press it while it's grayed out and choose Prioritize Download. At least you can choose which one gets the bandwidth next. Speaking of apps, reorganizing them on your home screen used to take forever until I learned this next trick. You know how difficult it can be to drag an app to the edge and wait for the page to change? Wait no more. Simply hold an app with one finger and then use another finger to swipe to another page. Boom! reorganized. You can also stop chasing those folders around when moving apps into folders by doing this trick. While holding the app and moving it, use another finger to click open the folder, pop it right in. Done. If these tips are helpful to you, click that like button. It really helps other people see this video. Have you ever been working or studying or just in deep thought and suddenly someone's been calling your name but you didn't hear a thing? With sound recognition, your iPhone actually listens for your name and notifies you when someone says it. To set this up, in Spotlight Search, look for sound and name recognition. Tap to open it and if you look back, you'll notice it's in Accessibility, Hearing section of Settings. I covered sound recognition in a prior video if you want to go back and watch it later, but we didn't cover name recognition. Select it, toggle it on, type in your name, and you can also see that you can teach it to recognize your name, which is great if you have a unique name that others seem to mispronounce. Click Continue, then click Done, then your iPhone is ready to recognize your name. I will point out that because your iPhone is constantly listening for your name, it may impact your battery usage slightly. Here's a cool trick you may like. In Apple apps, such as Notes or Mail, for example, if you mess up, swipe left with three fingers to undo and right to redo. Many times there is no undo or redo button, so this has been a real time saver. This literally saved me when I accidentally erased a paragraph. Here's a secret gesture for copy and paste. You can copy paste with three fingers. Think picking up with three fingers to grab a copy and dropping off or letting go by spreading out your fingers to paste it. Now if you want to cut instead of copy, do this. Select the text you want to cut, pinch closed with three fingers twice. To paste, do the opposite pinch out gesture. This next tip is still one of my favorites and I use it every week. You never have to miss birthdays again. Here's how to schedule a text message. Open the messages app, create a text you want to schedule. My best advice, as always, is do not type in the recipient name at the top until everything else is done prevents those accidental sins. Type your message and press the plus icon and select send later from the options. A date and time scheduler will appear. Select the time and date you want the message to be sent up to two weeks in advance. Now that you've confirmed that you have the message you like, add the recipient's name, then tap the send button and you'll notice it will now have a dashed blue line around it until the scheduled time. You can continue to text at any time with that person and it will not affect the scheduled text. You can also edit the scheduled text or delete it if you like just by tapping on it and making the desired changes. I usually do a week's worth of messages every weekend. This next one saved my battery on a number of occasions and now it works on multiple Apple devices. To create an iPhone automation that sends you a text message when the battery level falls below 25%, follow these steps. Open the Shortcuts app, tap the Automation tab at the bottom of the screen, 
Tap the plus sign at the top right corner, scroll down to battery level and select it. Adjust the slider to 25% and ensure falls below is also selected. Tap run immediately, then tap next at the top. Then scroll over and select show notification. Tap the blue message placeholder text and enter the text that you want the alert to say. For example, please charge iPhone and tap the blue check mark. Now let's go back and select show notification because we need to set it up to send a text message. Select search actions at the bottom, select send message, type in your message such as time to charge iPhone, then type in your name as the recipient, select the blue check mark and the blue check mark again to complete the process. Now you will get an automated text when your iPhone falls below 25%. It reminds you before you're too late. I use the same shortcut on my Mac and on my iPad as well. It's great for making sure you don't forget to charge when you get super busy. Now for an underrated AI feature that I've really been enjoying using, and you will too if you're not using it. Imagine focus mode, but with intelligence. Reduce Interruptions uses on-device AI to look at your notifications contextually. Not every text or notification is equal, and your iPhone actually knows that. If you're in work mode and your family sends a routine message, it stays silent. But if something important happens, an urgent update, change of plans, your iPhone lets that one go through. To modify this to allow certain people to get through regardless, open Settings, tap on Focus, tap on Reduce Interruptions, tap on People, add the allowed contacts. Ensure that Allow Notifications From at the top is selected. Select the contacts that you always want to receive notifications from. Also note that you can allow calls from certain people or from your favorites and even repeated calls if you like. Go back to the previous screen and notice the Options button where you have the option to show on lock screen, hide notification badges, options for silence notifications, and whether you want your lock screen to dim during this time of focus. Go back to the previous screen and you also can see that you can customize your lock screen Screen during this reduce interruptions mode. You can add a schedule to automatically activate during weekdays between 9 to 5, for example. And you can also add filters to allow only your work email, for example, to come through during those focus times. Let me know if this is something you're planning to use. There you go. 10 hidden iPhone tricks that you may not have known. Comment below if you learned a new one. I hope they were helpful to you. If so, click that like and subscribe button. It's free to do. A shout out to all my subscribers. I really appreciate you. You are so encouraging. If you learned something new, feel free to check out one of my other iPhone tip videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.